friends welcome to my channel creative art my name is nilima and today i'm going to show you the perfect recipe to make texture paste which i'm going to use to create a different kind of textures as well as i'm going to use it in cone to make this kind of beautiful relief painting work and i also want to thank all my lovely subscribers who have suggested me to use marble powder for my relief paintings which have really helped me to create this video so thanks to all of you dear friends so let's move on to the video now let's quickly check the materials we need to make texture paste first and the most important we are going to use marble powder friends if you don't find it in your local shops you can also order it online i have given the link in the description box below secondly we are going to need fevicol third we are going to need acrylic paint with that we are also going to need some water and for mixing we are going to use this two cups a big one a small size of cup a measuring spoon i have only this one so i'm going to use this one tape a plastic sheet and few ice cream sticks for mixing. First of all friends, I'm going to add one spoon of water in a small cup, one spoon of fevicol. Okay, water and fevicol should be equal quantity. Now I'll mix them both. Mix them both very well. Now we will add one spoon of acrylic color. I'm adding white acrylic color. You can also use any other color this small cup contains friends one spoon of water one spoon of fevicol which is white glue and one spoon of acrylic paint and this is the consistency we have got now i'm going to pour this into our big cup and now using the same spoon we are going to start adding marble powder so i'm going to start adding one by one spoon okay so this is our first spoon mix it very well Two spoons, three spoons. Mix it very well, and friends, this is the consistency what I need for my paste. You can see here that I have added white color, and in the next cup, I'm going to mix yellow color. I'll show you the same. I hope the formula is clear for you, friends. For making this kind of texture paste, you're going to need one spoon of water, one spoon of fevicol, one spoon of acrylic paint, and equals to three spoon of marble powder friends you can store this texture paste for about nine to ten months if you keep it in a air seal container but now i'm going to make a cone and pour this into the cone for making cone friends you're going to need this kind of plastic sheet then hold it in your hands press it in one side and then rotate it to create a cone hold one corner and rotate it in this way and rotate the other corner then use a tape to secure this part the transparent tape would be better so this is our cone so now you can see friends our paste has turned very well and creamy and this is the consistency i want so now i'm going to pour it in my cone this is the cone i have made you can also use small bottles like this if you're not comfortable with cone okay this is the way i have hold my cone and then i'm pouring the paste in it you have to fill up the cone just three fourth part of the cone so that you can seal this part easily do not fill, fill up the cone totally so you have to fill up the cone only three fourth so that you can give it a good packing so now using cello tape seal it up in this way second fold this is how you have to pack the cone and here your cone is ready in this way now friends this is the same cone we are going to use for making relief painting works like this I'm also going to use the same cone for doing this kind of my Meenakari paintings and we are also going to use the same paste for making different kind of textures. First of all, I'm going to show you the cone work which we are going to do. First of all friends, using scissor, you have to cut a specific size you need for your relief work. I need just 1mm of hole. So this is perfect for this part. So 
in the same way you have to do the cone work as I have done it in this path as in relief painting we create a lot of layers so layer by layer I have created which you will come to see in my next video relief painting Now friends, our first step for making texture, use a lot of paste on your base. This is how our texture paste looks. Smooth it up using a palette knife on the whole base. Okay, so this is how it looks when I have spread it. And these are different shapes and sizes of spatula. I'll show you one example to create texture okay and then I'm going to do it cross okay so this is one type of texture you can receive you can clearly see it you can keep it to dry I'm going to show you the next one so again I'll use my palette knife smoothen up the surface before it gets dried up you can use a little bit of water in your palette knife to smoothen up your surface that becomes easy okay now this is a bigger one so I have to go just one slide from here this corner you can also do a round shape using it okay like this okay you can also create this kind of texture just keep it on one side and rotate it from the other side in this way okay so there are different variety of textures you can create and just let it get dry and then you'll get the type of texture you want so friends in the same way you can create variety of textures like this using the same texture paste so friends this is how it looks when our texture paste has got dried up so friends in the same way you can make variety of textures like this you can also use the same paste in cone to make relief paintings like this and in future videos friends i'm also going to teach you to make different type of textures so please to keep watching and please to give it a try friends as this is the basics for making any kind of texture i hope this video would be useful for you so friends please to put a comment below if you like this video and do share my video friends and if you do like my videos friends please to like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching